both for its majesty and its grand power. Two hundred fifty thousand years ago, one race united the entire galaxy for the first time in peace. But there is always the separatist, one who will not join the whole. The Arrowway, a race of beings unlike any the Iconians had ever known, sought to lay waste to the galaxy and the Great Alliance. To rebuild it anew. They were cunning. One by one, they turned the galaxy against its protectors. And when the races of the Great Alliance turned their attention to destroying the wrongly accused Iconians, the Arrowway secretly constructed their greatest weapon. Commander Sirius out. defenses on Iconia have fallen. They'll have taken the entire system by day's end. And there's something else. I saw an airway leading enemy troops. Did the refugee transports make it off Iconia? I think one, but I can't be sure. All the more reason to complete our mission. Find a way to survive, we always do. We have to move the weapon to a safe location. I know you disagree. I didn't say that. You don't have to. You know better than anyone that violence begets violence every time. The council made the decision. The council is gone. We spend our entire lives, entire millennia, devoted to protecting life. And the same people that are part of the very alliance we created seek to destroy us. I don't want to use the horizon any more than you do. Even the thought of using an airway weapon is distasteful to me. We must save the rest of our people.
protocol complete. We must go to the horizon and begin preparing. Shall I open a gateway to the horizon, Common Sewer? Yes. Thank you. I'll miss your presence, Alita. Yours as well, sir. Shut down and prepare your systems for cold storage. I will do as you wish. Shall we? Twenty-two casualties reported so far, sir. Fifteen fatal. Seven injuries. Hold fading is down. Warp drive is down. We have torpedoes, but no phase cannons. Load all torpedo banks. You think the Romulans would risk staying in system? They're waiting to make their move. You can be sure of it. Scan for any EM fluctuations or anything that might resemble a cloaking field. We can't afford to have them get the drop on us. Aye, uh, sir. Engineering report. Bridge, that last hit knocked out the port nacelle. Coils are completely fried. Best I can give you is impulse. Somebody help me get that fire out before it reaches the antimatter injectors. How far in system are we? We're approximately 15 million kilometers from Saturn. We're sitting docks out here. Captain, what's going on? Sir, three Romulan ships decloaking aft. Frenzy yours. Incoming transmission from the Romulans, audio only. Let's hear what they have to say. This is Admiral Varek. Turn over the fugitive and the Romulan Star Empire may consider showing you leniency. Doesn't exactly sound like a generous offer. The fugitive returns with me or dies on your ship. I don't particularly care which. Go to hell. Captain, what can I do? Can you detonate the photonic torpedoes remotely? Yes, sir. Amelia, take us into Saturn's ring system. Get us there as fast as you can. Tamar, you know the Romulan ships better than anybody. Help Commander Gates find a way to mask the torpedo signature from their sensors. I don't think I can navigate the ring system. We don't have a choice. Yes, sir. Lieutenant! Try to keep them off our backs. How's it going? If we jettison our warp plasma in the ring system, it should fly in the Romulan sensors enough so the torpedoes appear as rock fragments. Intruder alert! Engineering, come in. Engineering, come in. We got company down here. Get a security team down there now. Help is on the way, but we need you to eject the warp plasma. Can you make it to the controls? Cover me. How's it going down there? Just a few more seconds. <laughs> Sir, 
Somebody get her to sick bay now! You're supposed to be a good pilot. Now's your chance. That's it. Drive plasma's released. The Romulans are slowing down. The warp plasma is clouding their sensors. Now. Almost in position. Now! Status. I'm having a hard time getting a reading. I'm taking Lieutenant Yaris to Sigbay. We'll pin down in section B5. Security team is on its way. Hold your position. We're receiving a hail. I'll give you credit, Captain. I underestimated you. But you're out of options, and my offer of leniency no longer stands. What about your officers? You've still got men here. Acceptable losses. He's charging weapons. Get us out of here. Systems are down all over the ship. It's a miracle we're in one piece. Captain, I'm reading another ship. We're receiving a transmission. It's the Enterprise. Captain Archer, your timing couldn't be better. The Romulans are taking heavy damage. Tamar, get us out of here. I can't. The helm isn't responding. The Romulans have gone to war. Damage report. Where do you want me to start? Any more casualties? Five, sir. Three fatal. Lieutenant Yaris? Section B-5 decompressed when we were hit with the last bottle. They never made it. successful in recapturing the fugitive? No. Her alterations and involvement with the weapon make her a dangerous threat. The Earth Vessel Enterprise intervened at the last moment. Enterprise? Yes. There was nothing we could do. You cannot allow this fugitive to live and report what she knows to the humans. I know that. You would do well to remember your place. The future must be stopped at all costs. Do I make myself clear? Yes. Whatever it takes. How's it looking? It's been a lot of work. Romulans did quite a number. Well, I hope it was worth it. Worth it? It's up to me. I toss her out an airlock. Excuse me? It's, it's just, just what? Is that what we do now? People we don't like? We just put them in an airlock? I just was thinking that... 
I'm gonna go down and see Admiral Gardner. You let me know if you need anything. Admiral Gardner. Harrison, at ease. I've been under a lot of pressure to finally put us on the offensive. I'm sorry I haven't had time to meet with you till now. I understand, sir. Please. You and your crew have been through a lot the past six months. I wish I could say that it gets easier, but it never does. No, sir. It doesn't. I've had a number of debriefings with Tamar since you got back. She's provided us with what promises to be very useful information. It promises to be. She was part of a top-secret program on Romulus. She's very highly trained. The surgical alterations and genetic modifications were going to allow her to enter Starfleet and perform recon on our offensive and defensive capabilities from the inside. How do we know that that's not what she's doing right now? That's a fair question and one we're all asking. We're keeping an eye on her. If she steps out of line, we'll know it. However, that's not the issue. The issue is the intel that she's brought us. According to Tamar, the Romulans are building a weapon of mass destruction. Two light years from Earth. The Romulans would never risk building that close to Earth. I admit it seems a bit unlikely. But even the Vulcans are worried. They're sending the Samir to investigate. It's one of their fastest ships. Mission to speak freely, sir. Go ahead. The Vulcans, they advise us. But they don't make decisions for us. The Vulcans are as much a member of this coalition as we are. We're all in this together. And if the Vulcans find something, you're sending us back out into the field again. It's looking that way. If what Tamar says is true, we must defend Earth at all cost. Yes, sir. I'm sorry, Harrison. I have nothing more. Dismissed. Oh, uh, and Harrison, there is one other thing. This isn't going to be a popular decision, but if it turns out to be true, Tamar is going to be your new helm officer. At least temporarily. We're giving her a commission of lieutenant. She'll be filling Lieutenant Yar's spot. Computer, begin again. Level four. Computer, end session. I was just leaving. No, wait. I'm sorry. I don't mean to be rude. It's just, I, I, it's just not easy being in the same room with a Romulan. Seventeen years ago, when I first took up service with the Empire, my father wanted to teach me a lesson. Show me how a Tal Shiar operative takes care of business. He took me to an interrogation he was conducting. The prisoner had committed treason. I don't remember exactly what the crime was. Afterwards, I had never seen a man so proud. He looked at me with a determination I'd never seen before and said, for the Empire. Not easy being in the same room with a Romulan? Nobody knows that better than me. Ensign, everything okay? Yeah, we were just talking. What are you doing here? I figured I should get in some shooting practice. If we're going to be redeployed, I'd have Not to... you. The same, but I was just leaving. What would you need to practice with our weapons for? Goodbye, sir.
You sure you're all right? I'm fine. I have to get going. Are you coming to the get-together tonight? I'm not sure I'm going to be able to make it. But have a nice time. Thank you. Hey, how was the trip? All right. Is this everybody? Well, I suppose if you wanted to invite Tamar. She's technically senior staff now. Marie, feel free to uh, help yourself to a drink. Now that, uh, now that we're all here, I thought it'd be nice if we took a moment to uh, remember those we've lost and to share a toast to their memory. Here, here. Captain, would you uh, like to say anything? Well, um, it's been hard for me, for all of us. Six months on a mission to bring back Tamar on a whim that it might change the tide of the war in our favor. We lost a lot of good people. I'm trying and honestly, I'm having a very hard time, but I'm trying to remember what it is that we stand for and why those good people had to give their lives. And I have to hope that something good will come of it. Amelia was always good at that. I think that if we had ship counselors, they'd talk to her instead of the counselors. She always managed to stay positive, even in the darkest of times. To Lieutenant Yaris. You know, it's funny you mention that, Amelia being so positive. First time we had lunch, it was in her quarters, and uh, we were both new to the ship, and she fit in so well, but... I didn't. And she decided that we were going to have lunch together once a week and we were going to become the best of friends. <laughs> She's had a way with people, you know? She was so kind and she wanted everyone to be happy. What's going on? What do you mean? I know you well enough to know when something's on your mind. Other than the obvious. It's nothing. Yeah? You know me. We've been friends for a long time. You know how important duty is to me. Starfleet, what we do. So you know I'd be the last person to condone a relationship between a CO and his subordinate. You and Lieutenant Yaris? Well, it was more than that. Everything Marie said was true. That was Amelia. She was... It wasn't just some fling. You have to understand that. Nineteen years ago, before I joined Starfleet, I was engaged to a boomer. Her father was ill, so she was going to take over as captain of their freight hauler. Typical runs, uh, four years. Two-way. We had these Grand dreams. Build a life in space, travel to distant worlds. 
On her last run with her father as captain, they were attacked by raiders. They stole all their supplies, their antimatter. They were stranded. Were they ever found? Two years later. Not long after that's when I joined Starfleet. It was the only way I knew how to look for the people who did it. Make them pay. So did you ever find them? No. I'm, I'm sorry, I... I didn't know that. I hadn't told anyone that before. It's just that I never thought that I could feel that way again. Thought you should know. Jackson, come in. Jackson, come in. What is it? I need to see you on the ship right away. So, what do you think? I think it's five in the morning. Some of the results I'm getting are a bit strange. How so? Quantum dating puts the age of the cube at negative 900 or so years. That shouldn't happen. Quantum dating doesn't give negative numbers. It's happened before. When? After the first Zindi attack. Captain Archer quantum dated a piece of their weapon. The numbers read in the negative. So? It was from the future. So you're saying you think this is from the future? I'm saying... It's happened before. Where'd you find it? In a wall. I literally put my hand through a solid wall and I pulled this out. Doesn't happen every day. You know, I knew there was a reason why I had you as my science officer. I do my best. I'm not getting anything here. 
Hawk. Captain, get down here immediately. Right away, sir. I guess I'm just not getting any sleep tonight. Admiral, Ambassador, what's going on? We're getting telemetry from the Samir, the Vulcan ship that was sent out. Five ships, two base structures. I thought you said that this was in the early stages of construction. Believe me, Captain, I'm just as surprised as you are. I thought I had the most up-to-date information. Apparently not. There's more. The Samir is detecting strong gravimetric distortions from the main starbase. Most likely from the weapon itself. All encased in a thermal barrier cloud barrier that wasn't there before. Side effect? The gravimetric distortions? Possibly. How does this weapon work? What can you tell us? I don't know. I wasn't given that information. What exactly do you know? All I know is the initial projections. That everyone involved with the project was given. That it could potentially destroy entire systems. Obviously, this must be stopped at all costs. Enterprise was on its way out of the system to rendezvous with a Vulcan battle group when they assisted you. We've recalled them immediately. We're putting everyone we got on the repairs of the Annex 04. It'll be ready to launch in a week. Sorry to put you back out there so soon, Captain, but we don't have a choice. Yes, sir. I'll head back to the Annex 04 and oversee the repairs myself. Anything you need, you got it. One week. Thank you, sir. Captain's Log, June 21st, 2160. None of us were ready to be back in space this soon, especially for a combat mission. But the crew are handling it well, and if I'm being honest, better than I expected. Better than me. I know I don't want to be back in the field this soon, and I'm sure they don't either. But they're doing their duty. I couldn't be more proud to be serving with them. How's it going? I think we're just about ready down here. It's been moving almost faster than I can keep track of. We got new antimatter injectors, warp coils, plasma manifolds. Rumor has it, we'll be able to sustain 5-7 if we have to. I like the sound of that. If you get a chance, check out the armory. Tom's pretty excited about some of the upgrades we're getting. That's my next stop. Captain, you're gonna love this. What have you got for me? In addition to what we had, four new phase cannon arrays, an extended complement of photon torpedoes, and my personal favorite, tri-cobalt torpedoes. Prototypes. Starfleet has barely had time to test them, but the initial results place the yield at two and a half times that of a single photon torpedo. Sounds like we ought to be able to hold our own against the Romulans. Uh, yes, sir, I, I believe so. There's one other thing. Prototype phase compression rifle. Compression rifle? Yes, sir. It works by literally compressing the energy, which allows for a much higher particle density per single shot, thereby increasing the yield up to three times that of a normal phase rifle. I like it. How many do we have? Four, sir. Romulans ought to like that. Keep me posted. I'm going to the bridge. I'll be there straight away, sir. Are you getting acclimated? Most helm controls are more or less the same. It's just remembering where everything is. I've been in here for the last four days, day and night, trying to make sure they get everything right. Did they? Your crews are very well trained, Captain. Even by Romulan standards. Glad to hear it. Gentlemen. Captain. Sir. Captain, we're receiving a transmission from Admiral Gardner. Let's see it. Captain, how are you doing? I'm good, sir. Ready to get the show on the road. I'm glad to hear it because I think Enterprise and the Balkans are too. Care to wish us luck, sir? All the luck in the world to you, Captain. For all our sakes. No pressure. See you in a few days. All hands. This is the captain. We are about to get underway. I know that we are preparing to go into a dangerous situation, but we have done the work and we are ready. 
those of you who have been with us, and those of you who are new to the crew, I couldn't be more proud to be serving with you. All of you. We have a job to do. Now let's get started. Lieutenant Tamar, take us out. Lieutenant, maximum warp. You cannot allow the Coalition to stop construction of the weapon. They're bringing a fleet! You said this would not happen! The future is not set in stone. I can only read significant changes in the timeline. When will you be ready to fire? The weapon is nearly finished, but I fear they will arrive before it's ready. You must hold this location. The future of the Romulan people is in your hands, Admiral. Do not forget that. How are you getting along with the crew? Well enough. Ensign Sutherland seems intimidated by me, but she appears to be open-minded. We've spoken a few times. I'm glad to hear it. The rest will come around. What we're about to go into, this mission, it will most certainly require the use of deadly force. I need to know you're prepared to do whatever is necessary even against your own people. Captain, I am fully committed to what I am doing. I wouldn't be here if I wasn't. There's still one thing I don't understand. Why are you so committed to helping us? I've had doubts about my people's ways. I buried them for a long time, but when I first saw myself after the procedure, I realized what I alone represented. The annihilation of another people for no reason. I doubt I'm the first to want to change, but I'm the first to step out and do something about it. It took the same effort from a few good people on Earth to make a change. I just hope my people can learn from their mistakes before it's too late. Me too. Did you see that? What? That. We're experiencing extreme gravimetric distortions. What about the rest of the fleet? The Vulcans are reporting damage and minor casualties. The Enterprise is reporting minor damage as well. We can't keep this up! Are you seeing this? Am I seeing what? The thermobaric cloud barrier has grown over 5,000 kilometers since the Vulcans first picked it up over a week ago. I'm picking up gravimetric distortions coming from inside. I've never seen this on any star charts. That's because it wasn't here before. The Massar was hit by an extreme distortion. They're falling back. Do they need assistance? They sustained heavy damage and casualties. They're withdrawing to Earth. We're entering the thermobaric cloud barrier. Things are gonna get a bit bumpy. All hands, brace for impact. picking something up on the sensors. What is it? There's a clearing ahead. Romulan warp signatures. Can we get a look at it? Here we go. Open up a channel to the battle group. This is Captain Hawk. Starbase is just ahead. Let's get started. Three more ships coming in from aft. All Romulan. Open fire! Photonic torpedoes and phase cannons. Captain, you feel like trying something crazy? What have you got? It's on your screen. I always like crazy. 
Relay to the other ships. Discovery to fleet. Prepare to initiate tactical maneuver Alpha-1. Engineering, we need all power to forward hull plating. Take it from life support if you have to. You got it. Lieutenant, be ready. Two down, one to go. Come about. They're retreating. Joining the main battle group. Hawk to all ships. Form up. We need to stay on them. The coalition ships are here. If they break through our main lines, the weapon could be at risk. Then you must activate the weapon now. It isn't ready. It is your only choice. The fate of Romulus rests in your hands. Admiral Varric to Control Center. Begin the activation sequence. Captain, I'm detecting an energy buildup from the center of the clearing. The weapon? It's possible. I thought you said it wasn't ready. I thought it wasn't. Put it on screen. Hawk to all ships. When we enter the clearing, we're gonna need to make a break for the Starbase. We need you to cover us. All ships report ready, sir. Lieutenant, load the tricobalt torpedoes. We need to see if these weapons are as good as they're supposed to be. Ready. Here we go. Status. Almost there. Captain, we're receiving a transmission from the Lasek. They're taking heavy damage. Tell them to hold out as long as they can. It's too late. We're in range. Fire at will. Barely making a dent in their shields. Magnify the top of the starbase. I don't know about you, but that looks like a vital system to me. Captain, the Vulcan flagship is sustaining heavy damage. They won't last much longer. Tell Enterprise we can handle this. Have them assist the Vulcans. Lock onto those coordinates. Try Cobalt torpedoes. Fire. Report. Massive secondary explosions. I think we did. Jackson! <laughs> I'm reading a massive gravimetric distortion forming in the wake of the explosion. Come on, get us out of here. Engines are at maximum. We're caught in the distortion. Being pulled in. Are the Vulcans still out there? They lock onto us with the tractor beam. Can't get a read on anything. If we're gonna do something, we better. Systems are coming back online.
Brooks to bridge. Bridge here. The distortions appear to have stopped. I'm gonna run a full systems check. Let me know what you find out. Tom, the Romulans. They're not there. What do you mean they're not there? They're just gone. There are no ships within our sensor range. There is something out there. Captain, maybe the better question is, where are we? I believe Ensign Sutherland is correct, but these readings can't be right. I'm also not recognizing any of these star configurations outside of the nebula. Wherever we are, it's in a star cluster that neither humans nor Romulans have discovered. How is that possible? I have no idea. Jackson? I don't know either. Best I can tell is that we were caught in some sort of subspace tear. As to how we survived it, or why we were brought here? What about this system? There's a G-class star in the planet. The planet is M-class, no life signs. But there is something else. Aside from the fact that this monument would suggest someone once was here, it's also sitting on a huge power source. Captain, I recommend that we take a team down to the surface of the planet. We will, but first, Jackson, I want a status report. I want to know what happened. Tom, I want to know what weapons we have and what needs fixing. I want to know what's on that planet. We have to assume that it's somehow all related. And I'm not leaving this ship until I know what we do and don't have. Briefing, one hour. I know we're fresh out of space dock, but we are not in good shape. We blew out EPS relays across the ship, grav platings down on G-deck, hull breaches on e &F. I may be able to get us operational in five days, but that is bare minimum. We don't have five days. We need to get back in the fight. Does it really matter? We don't even know where we are. I may have something on that. I've been analyzing the star configurations beyond this system. I was finally able to get a visual on something familiar. My god. That is the Milky Way galaxy. How is that even possible? I'm not sure. Tom, have you heard anything about malfunctions or issues with the Tricobalt torpedoes? They're experimental, still in testing, but Starfleet wanted us to have them. Why? When they impacted with the Romulan station, they had an unintended side effect. From what I can tell, the warheads actually tore a hole in subspace that was magnified many times over by the extreme gravimetric distortions being emitted by the station. So the subspace tear transported us hundreds of thousands of light years away. Why here? There's one thing the Romulan weapon and this planet have in common. Unusually high gravimetric distortions. So you're saying that the Romulan weapon is somehow connected to this planet? It could just be a fluke, but it does seem a bit coincidental. Right now, it's all we got. How are we on transporters? I can try to get them back online in a day. Tomorrow. I want to take a shuttle down to the surface. I wouldn't recommend that, Captain. The atmosphere is saturated with ionizing particles. There's a strong possibility the gas could be ignited by the shuttle's engines. How strong a possibility? I'd rather not try it unless we have to. All right, Jackson, Marie, when the transporters are back online, we will head down to the surface and check out the monument. Sir? We might need your language skills if there's anything on the monument that needs to be decoded. Yes, sir. Captain, I may not be able to bring a shuttle down, but I could still be of service. How so? If this is a Romulan weapon or plan, I may be useful. I would advise against that, Commander. Look where we are. You can't tell me this is just coincidence. That's enough, Commander. Tomorrow, I'll need you back here on the ship. Dismissed. Commander, we have to resolve this now. Excuse me? Whatever problems you have with me, we're not going to be able to get through this if we can't work together. What is your problem with me? I have repairs to make. Captain, everything all right? Chief Moore. Yes, thank you. Everything's fine. How is it in engineering? Good, sir. Great. Keep up the good work. Carry on. 
Yes, sir. Captain, what are you doing down here? I'm trying to make myself useful. You don't have to worry about that. I got people on this. Yeah, but they won't be by until morning. Thought I'd get a head start. Not that. I should have you added to my staff. Oh, well. Better request Admiral Gardner for a transfer. <laughs> hey. Can I ask you a question as a friend? Yeah, what is it? Well, I'm pretty sure that most people on the ship have issues with tomorrow. But it really seems to be eating you up. Deneva Colony. What about it? My girlfriend was aboard NX-03 when it was destroyed in orbit. I'm sorry. I didn't know. I was gonna propose. I knew she'd say yes. We've been talking about it for some time. I, um... I knew it'd be a problem with us both serving in Starfleet. I just assumed one of us would resign our commission. You know, if things had gone different, Captain, you'd have a different chief engineer. I'm sorry, Francis. It wasn't in your file. I didn't know. I'm trying to keep it a secret. If it's any consolation, I know how you feel. A long time ago, someone I loved was killed. And for a long time, I dedicated myself to finding those who did it. Did you? I wish I had. It was as if my life fell away. And in a single moment, I betrayed everything that I stood for. Everything that I thought humanity should be. I've tried very hard to remain objective during this mission. But who we are, what we are, we should never lose that. I'll try my best. One piece. I guess my fix is worked. Pretty soon I'll be out of a job. Good luck, Captain. These readings are... What? Well, there's enough energy running underneath this monument to power ten NX-class starships. What could provide that type of power? I have no idea. Marie, 
Come take a look at this. New quantum date this structure? Yeah. Second. Quantum dating puts the structure at just over 250,000 years old. Interesting. There's a repeating pattern to these symbols, maybe some sort of numerical system. I think this is a trimodal syntax based on these repeating symbols. I got it. Reem Tar. Horizon. Horizon? You've been scanned to determine basic physiological and mental attributes, including language structure, so that the importance of this message may be properly conveyed to you. This monument is built not to our greatness, nor our memory, but to our failure. It is here that my wife and I, the last of our kind that we knew of, lived our final days. As we did, you stand on a world built for destruction, the ultimate antithesis of what it meant to be an Iconian. Where we sought to protect life, the Iroquois sought to turn our allies against us, to destroy and take for their own. We wasted what little time we had left trying to turn their weapon against them. We should have removed this place from existence the moment we laid our eyes on it. My wife were here with me now. Perhaps we will meet again at the edge of the universe. One can help. Well, that was ominous. The structure must have been hidden under some sort of large cloaking barrier. Sir, do you really think this is a good idea? Do you have a better one, Ensign? I agree, sir. Just because we don't have a better one, doesn't mean that this is a good one. We have no idea what could be in there. Do you show anything on your scans? No, sir. Discovery. We have found a large structure. We're going in to investigate. Yes, sir. It just appeared on scanners. Be careful in there. to Discovery. Discovery, come in. Jack 
Jackson. I don't know. I've never seen anything like this. again. Channel open. Captain Hawk, this is Discovery. Do you copy? Captain, come in. Close the channel. How long ago did they disappear from sensors? 30 minutes now. Maybe we should send a team to the surface. Check on them. I agree, sir. Why? So what happened to them can happen to you? No, I don't think so. We need to find a way to recon the situation. Yeah? And how are we gonna do that? We'll think of something. Oh, really? Just like that? Wait. I'm receiving a transmission. Audio only. Let's hear it. Commander Brooks, nice to make your acquaintance. Who am I speaking with? I'm going to dismiss with the rest of the formalities, Commander, and get straight to the point. I have your captain, comm officer, and science officer. If you make any attempt to rescue them or communicate with them, I will kill them and then destroy your ship. Commander? What? I would wager that he's going to kill them whether or not we attempt to mount a rescue. Have you gotten any scans on the interior of that structure since it last appeared? Some. It's massive. But if we can get a transporter lock on the captain, we might be able to beam them out. Good. I'll work on boosting power to the transporter. Tom, you have the bridge. Tamar? Work on boosting our sensor resolution. Glad to see I didn't forget the second disruptor to stop. Who are you? My name is Daikon. Are you the one responsible for the Romulan weapon? Have a guess, Captain. I think there's too much lining up for it to be a coincidence. You are in a vast need of a reality check, Captain. Computer. Open the outer hatches. What is this place? Horizon. So aptly named. Both for its majesty and its grand power. A race of beings unlike any the Iconians had ever known. Constructed this world. A weapon. Over 250,000 years ago. They fully intended to mop up the remains of the Iconians' great alliance with it. At the last second, the Iconians moved this entire world to another galaxy. The horizon lost all of history. defense drones, they must have hidden protocol on the code. The drones turned on them and killed them. A mistake I was careful not to repeat. So, you gave me a reality check. But why are you doing this? Your vessel, your crew. How did you find this place? We're here by mistake. 
I believe you. So what now? Now, I suppose you can stay and watch. Watch what? I want you to know what it feels like when your world burns like mine did. What? In the 24th century, Romulus was destroyed. All while the Federation sat by and did nothing. Now what few of us are left are scattered across the Alpha Quadrant. The 24th century. This is the 28th century. And it is here where you will watch while your entire future is destroyed. That is the only reason you are still alive. I've boosted the sensors as much as I'm going to be able to, and with a stroke of luck, several large hatches opened which allowed me to scan deeper into the surface. From what I can tell, the structure is massive. It protrudes into underground caverns. Any luck locating our people? Three human life signs in the underground chambers, but there are extensive metal deposits in the surrounding rocks. Which is going to make it nearly impossible to get a transporter lock. What if we try something else? What you have in mind, Tom? Low risk. We try to beam down communicators and weapons. If we can't get them out directly, at least we can lend a hand. Let's do it. Discovery, come in. Discovery. Captain, you there? Yes. Is everything all right up there? Yes, sir. We're going to get you out of there, but right now we can't get a clear enough lock to beam you and the others out. Can you get me a scanner? And a weapon? Hold on, sir. Tom, I'd like some more firepower, just in case. Can you send me one of those phase compression rifles? And an extra phase pistol. Yes, sir. getting an energy reading from the structure. What is it? It looks like some sort of objects are separating from the main structure. Put it up. They look like attack drones. I'd say that's exactly what they are. Tactical alert, load photonic torpedoes. Stand back! It's good to see you. You too. I guess yours isn't as nice as mine. What are you talking about? Nothing. Let's go get Marie.
Mar, you think we can make it through that radiation? I can try. Hot! Discovery! I found Jackson Marine. We're gonna try to get out of this structure. But if you don't hear from me in ten minutes, you hit this place with everything you've got. I'm not gonna leave you down there. That's an order, Commander. Captain, I think I found the way out of here. Ah! Well, what is it? Just down that corridor. Some kind of anti-gravity platform. It's the best we've got. I'm gonna cover you. All right, go! Did you get them? Commander! I got them. They're safe and sound. I don't know about sound. Oh, God. Come on. How is she? Doc says he doesn't know if she'll make it. I wish we had more time to worry about Marie. But we have to deal with Daikon. Jackson, have you informed them of the situation? Yes, sir. Tamar, what do you think about this? He is a Romulan. I've never even heard of Daikon. And I'm as clueless as you are. I'm guessing any information about Daikon and the fact that he's from the 28th century is highly restricted information in the Imperial Senate. I figured as much. We have to put a stop to this. Where are we with weapons and hull plating? I can give you face cannons or torpedoes, but I can't give you both. Most I can give you on hull plating is 50%. That's if we're lucky. Captain, if you're considering a frontal assault, I'm not sure that would be the best idea. From the scans I took of the structure while inside, it's highly shielded. And even if our weapons could damage or destroy it, I'm not sure we'd be able to get past the drones. Captain, why hasn't Daikon destroyed us and gone about his business? I think I can answer that. From what I can tell, the weapon has a long recharge time. It seems the gravimetric distortions are a direct side effect of the weapon, and since we got here, they've dropped off significantly and have been slowly rising again. I don't think it can simply be fired like a torpedo. Well, 
At least we'll have a warning sign if he intends to use it again. But we can't count on it. You all know the severity of the situation. We've been through a lot these past couple of days. Hell, the last six months. Get some rest. We need you clear-headed. Dismissed. Get you to sick bay. No, no, I'll be fine. <laughs> we have a lot to talk about. You look. I feel terrible. Dermal regeneration will only do so much for you. Dermal regeneration. There are some things that we need to talk about before anything else. I'm all ears. There's no easy way to say this. Say what? My assignment to Discovery wasn't by chance. Your dreams after you thought I died weren't an accident. I don't really follow. I'm a temporal agent. I'm not from your time. I was sent to Discovery because your time period is a major front in the temporal Cold War. I know it's a lot to take in. So what you're saying is... This ship, crew, us, was just an assignment, a job. It started out as an assignment, but you have to know that my time here and and the way that I feel about you, it, it became so much more than an assignment. Uh-huh. So assuming what you say is true, why me? Why Discovery? Why not Enterprise? They're the ones that ended the temporal Cold War. Because Enterprise is too important to risk at this point. I get it. A ship that has a footnote in history is expendable. I wouldn't put it that way. What about the dreams? I encoded them into your subconscious while you were sleeping. In case anything happened, you'd hopefully be able to activate the beacon before it was too late. We 
were in the 20th century. We were trying to destroy a Romulan weapon when we got caught up in some sort of gravimetric distortion that pulled us here. Romulan weapon? It could have been devastating. The Romulans aren't supposed to have that sort of technology in this time period. What is it? I'm sorry if I woke you, sir, but I couldn't sleep. Could you come down to engineering? It's important. I'll be there right away. Besides, there's someone here who would like to say hello. Feel up to taking a walk? Yeah, I think I can manage. I, I recommend that we keep this information on a need-to-know basis. What kind of story would you like to make up this time? I think we can trust the senior staff. <clears throat> Amelia? Hey, uh, reports of my death have been over-exaggerated, but not by much. How are you here? The section you were in decompressed to space. Look, I know you all have questions, but it's a long story. We'll explain that at the briefing in the morning. So, what do you have for us? I assume you brought me down here at four o'clock in the morning for something. Yes, well... It's not every day you see a ghost. Francis? Right. Um, we have a theory on how we got here. We know the gravimetric wave concentration was much higher when we arrived, which is when the rift formed. We think the distortion from the Romulan weapon and this planet were somehow linked, essentially acting like a magnet, pulling us through space and time. Well, after studying the subspace tear, the, the only answer I keep coming back to is that the tricobalt devices must have had an irreparable flaw that caused them to have unpredictable effects on subspace. In the case of mixing with this kind of gravimetric distortion, we have seen what the side effect is. Do you think you could recreate the subspace tear? Well, that's what we're hoping for. Whatever's generating the distortion seems to be consistently building a charge but it's just not strong enough to open a rift. All right, good work. It's a start. Amelia, I want to report on everything you know about the temporal Cold War and the situation. Briefing in two hours. Yes, sir. Amelia? Whatever's going on, I just wanted to let you know. It's good to have you back. Thanks. You know, it's really good to be back. Well, I I'd better get started. All of this has been classified top secret by Starfleet and remains in this room. Until now, it's been privy to only ship captains and admirals. Amelia. I am from the 31st century. We have technology that allows us to travel through time with the ease that you travel through space. Obviously, it was very quickly realized how dangerous this technology could be. So temporal accords were put into place, outlawing the use of the technology for anything other than observation of the timeline. There are groups that have broken these accords and seek to bend the timeline to their own will with total disregard for the consequences. The temporal Cold War. It was officially ended five years ago and all groups brought to justice, with the exception of one. Until recently, we have been unable to locate him or ascertain his identity. I believe this man, on the surface, Daikon, is the last fugitive from the Temporal Cold War. Any questions? I think we can destroy the Horizon by overloading its central power matrix. I agree. It's the best way. The good news is that since the weapon has been building a charge, I've noticed a significant drop in the strength of the dampening field that was blocking our transporters. Should be able to transport you right in their living room. Good. Tom, I'll be taking you and Amelia down to the surface, where we are going to try to overload the horizon from the inside. Francis, I want your people working double time. Do whatever you have to. If this doesn't work, We'll need everything we can muster to try to take it out from orbit. Jackson, work with Francis on trying to recreate the subspace tear. 
To be honest, I don't know how this is going to work out. But we have a job to do. And no matter what, people are counting on us. Any questions? Jackson, when we go down the surface, if for whatever reason we cannot complete our objective, I want you to try to take that tower out by any means necessary. Understood? Yes, sir. Amelia, Tom. Transporter room, one hour. Dismissed. You come to kill me, Captain. Can't allow you to use that weapon. It is not only a weapon, it is a temporal observatory. One even unlike what our friend from the 31st century has seen. Don't bother denying it. The temporal signature of everyone in the room is locked by the computer. Would make sense. Looks like this place doubles as an observatory. Scan the timeline, send a message to the past, change things from afar. What is this? The destruction of Romulus. But the change is implemented over time. A series of small changes. And time ripples outward, affecting the past and the future in waves. But if one tries to change too much at any given time, the fabric of space and time fractures, and a new universe is born. What's your point? I've worked a lifetime for this, giving the Romulans of your day just enough to finish the weapon, to change my future. All using a technology that even the legendary Iconians couldn't master. And even they, for all their intelligence, couldn't sustain their union of peace. And here you are, repeating their mistakes with your precious Federation. It is sickening allowing your species to become so tainted and diluted that yours is as dead as mine. I will not stand for that, Captain. I cannot stand for that. It is a numbers game. Your people for mine. Your union for my empire. It is as simple as that. Discovery, come in. Discovery here, Captain. Carry out your orders. One way or another, this ends here. Where did he go? Francis, load the photonic torpedoes. Yes, sir. Target the tower. Loaded and ready, sir. Tamar, you think you can handle getting us in without burning up the atmosphere? Where is he? He's above us. That can't be good. Hunted to that station. What was that? Ribometric distortions. Lots of them. Keep this heading. This looks similar to an anti gravity platform we were on before. Can you use it? Yeah, I think so. Jackson. Yeah. You need to destroy this place at all costs. I'm doing my best. 
The gravimetric distortions are tearing us apart. Jackson. Discovery, come in. Daikon. It's over. Distortions are subsiding. I think we're in some kind of bubble generated by the tower. Let's see it. Zoom in. Torpedoes. Low yield. Ready. Target those things. Take them out as soon as we're in range. If we're gonna do something, we better do it soon. You hear that? Sorry about that, Captain. Would you like a lift? Hey, Amelia and Tom. I still have to set the overload sequence. Harrison, wait. I can read Romulan. I have a much better chance of disabling this thing than you do. See you on the ship, Lieutenant. Good luck, Captain. Daikon, you don't have a choice anymore. Either you stop or we'll destroy this place. Do you really want to die alone in the middle of nowhere like the last Iconians? The Iconians held such high standards for everyone else. But what did it get them? Think about the hologram at the monument. They died on this world. Do you really think they left it as a monument to themselves, to their greatness? If the Iconians had truly learned from the past, they wouldn't have tried to save the most powerful weapon ever created for themselves. Building a charge. Two minutes. The Iconian Gateway. Impressive. I have to stay here. What? I can overload the power system, cause a self-destruct. I'll do it. I'm the logical choice. I can read Romulan. I can go through the gate at the last second. But you'll end up God knows where or when. I can find my way back. I'm not new to this. 60 seconds. If you go right now, you'll have just enough time to open the rift and get back. Discovery. One to beam up. Where's Amelia? She's staying behind. Try Cobalt torpedoes. Prepare to fire. Aye, sir. Let's go home. The rift appears to be stable. Tomorrow? 3,000 meters. 2,000. The tower is going critical. Aft cameras. Compensating for the distortions this time. Sending to your station tomorrow. Faster! We're trying. We're almost through. The gravimetric field is beginning to destabilize. The field is collapsing. Captain, star charts show that we're in the right place, but the barometric cloud barrier, 
The distortions, nebulae, they're all gone. Looks like Amelia might have been successful. Any ships? Is the Enterprise still out there? Vulcans? Scanning. Captain, I'm picking up some transmissions. Faint, narrow band. Let's hear it. Can you clear it up? Working on it. Sir, I have the Enterprise on the sensors. They're running on reserve power. Warp engines are down. They're in bad shape. And the Vulcans? There's one Vulcan ship adrift, the Kurok. Very faint life signs. Set a course for Enterprise. Transport all Vulcan survivors here. Jackson, open up a communication channel. Discovery to Enterprise, can you read me? Enterprise, come in. Enterprise, we're here. Enterprise, glad to hear that you're okay. We're sending over repair teams and medical supplies right away. Hawk out. Jackson, coordinate with Francis to get the teams over to the Enterprise. Yes, sir. Any luck on the transmissions? I think I'm getting it now. What is it? A faint signal from a transponder in the Romulan debris. It's a message being transmitted on loop. I managed to clear it up. All right, let's hear it. Coalition has destroyed the weapon before it could be activated. We must not allow this pestilence to grow further. Destroy that transponder, now. If they send their entire fleet, then everything you've accomplished will be for nothing. Well, I wish I had a solution, but we're operating in the dark here. I have a meeting with the Vulcans, Andorians, and Tellarites later today. Word is the Romulans are amassing a force in the Charon system. Will you be deploying us, sir? You did a hell of a job, Harrison. I know practically no one more deserving of a rest. Thank you, sir. It wasn't exactly what we expected. You handled it well. You and your crew have been an, an excellent asset to Starfleet. Thank you. If all goes well, a fleet of Vulcan, Andorian, Tellarite, and some of our own ships including Discovery and Enterprise, will be deployed to the Charon system. It says here that you are transferring tomorrow. Yes, that's right. The assignment's over. May I make a request, sir? Sure. I would like to keep tomorrow at the helm. Really? Yes, sir. All right. Thank you. Tomorrow. You got a second? Look, I'm really not in the right frame of mind for your usual attitude, so if but you just could hear just... me out. I want to say I regret some of the things that happened between us. Is that all? I am trying to apologize here. So, apologize, sir. Look, I don't know if I'm going to be able to change overnight, or if I'll be able to accept things. Well, you know, I'm trying. And I am sorry for some of the things I've said and done. Thank you. Before you say anything, yes, it's really me. No implanted dreams or visions. How? I took the Iconian Gateway off-world just before the tower was destroyed. I have no idea where I was, but I activated my beacon, much like you did, and I was retrieved by people from my time. All in a day's work. What is it? My superiors don't know I'm here. I can't stay. I needed to let you know that I'm okay. And that I really do care about you. If things were different... I actually understand. 
I just wish it didn't have to be this way. Me too. Are things any different in your time? Are we really any better? I can't say too much. I don't want to contaminate the timeline any more than I already have. But I can tell you that the Coalition of Planets leads to a great alliance. I'm actually part Romulan. A small part, but my great-grandfather was Romulan. My grandmother was one-eighth Cardassian, and my mother was human, my father was human. More or less. The Federation that Daikon mentioned. It is destined for so much more than you realize. So, we're on the same path as the others. What do you mean? Romulans, Vulcans, humans, Iconians. At our core, we really any different? I'm sorry. I have to go. If I stay any longer, someone might notice. Will we ever see each other again? I wish I could say that we would. Perhaps we will. At the edge of the universe. I'd like that. One can hope.